How safe is my Swiss bank account from US court cases and foreign judgments? In a money printing world with unpredictable governments, very low capitalized banks and rapacious tax authorities inventing new wealth taxation, more and more smart US investors have executed their offshore plan B. They moved their assets into a Swiss bank account. They disconnected their assets from the influence of the government and his courtrooms. My US clients always ask me the same question. How safe is my money in my Swiss bank account from US court cases or foreign judgments in general? Can US court cases, US judgments, US court orders or any other foreign judgment crack my Swiss bank account? Here is the answer. For accessing your money in your Swiss bank account, your creditor must have the American judgment number one recognized and number two enforced in Switzerland by a Swiss court. This video explains how it works. At the end of the video, there is a bonus tip for you. I will show you a very simple way that recognition and enforcement of US judgments in Switzerland will become nearly impossible. Stay tuned! Caputo and Partners, SwissBankingLawyers.com. We fight for your money. Hello, I'm Enzo Caputo, the international asset protection lawyer, the owner of the boutique law firm Caputo and Partners, and the founder of SwissBankingLawyers.com, the place where international business people find tips and solutions for better asset protection with Swiss banks and how to pay less tax. Do you know that 30% of all private assets on the planet of non-resident investors are managed in Switzerland? All the owners controlling 30% of all these cross-border assets in the world can not be wrong. An offshore bank account in Switzerland is not the result of a coincidence, but the result of an intelligent asset protection strategy, a plan B. There are many reasons for seeking asset protection. Here are typical examples. Business liability, frivolous lawsuits, accidents with high liabilities, aggressive creditors, greedy spouses, divorce asset protection, protection from business partners after having sold the business, etc. You can choose domestic US structures, for example, life insurance and annuities, or international structure, or a combination of both. Here is the thing. International structures are much more effective. Two of the most effective legal tools are the Cook Island Asset Protection Trust and the Family Foundation in Panama. I tell you why. Once the funds have been transferred into a Cook Island Offshore Asset Protection Trust or a Family Foundation in Panama, and two years since the transfer of assets have passed, the funds are irrevocably owned by the trust or Family Foundation. The funds are in a fortress. It's impossible to attack such well-protected assets. Watch out! The transfer has to be done before a problem arises. If a problem is around the corner, it's too late for a secure asset protection strategy. The transfer has to be done before something bad happens. Otherwise, you have committed a fraudulent transfer with the intent to hinder, delay or defraud the creditor. If you have committed a fraudulent transfer, most US judges put you in jail until you transfer the money back to the United States. In the US, there is a four-year statute of limitations for any transfer if you don't get paid for it. Only two years after the transfer into a Cook Island Trust, your assets are well protected in an invulnerable fortress. The creditors lost all legal titles for attacking the assets. The irrevocable Cook Island Asset Protection Trust is court-tested. It has a case law proven track record that it protects assets. The Cook Island Trust is the number one choice for international asset protection. The trust owns an LLC and the LLC has a bank account in Switzerland. The bank account must always be located in Switzerland because of the high level of privacy. Later on in this video, you will learn how hard it is to crack a Swiss bank account. The settler will be the initial manager of the LLC and have signatory rights on the Swiss bank account. If a US court order is filed against the debtor, the trustee has to take action. 
He will accomplish his mission protecting your assets. When legal duress arises, a U.S. judge could order the settler to hand over the assets. When the settler is forced to do something against his will, that person is said to have been a victim of duress. However, when the trustee steps in as a new manager of the LLC and signatory on the Swiss bank account, while the settler is under legal duress, foreign court orders, for example from the US, are rejected in the Cook Islands because foreign court orders have no jurisdiction over Cook Island trustees. As a protection trust must be created before something bad happens. This is really important. Otherwise, they have no asset protection effect. Watch out. All asset protection measures must be done long before the assets are attacked by aggressive creditors. Only if it's stipulated in a trust deed by a statute, the Cook Island trustee is legally obliged to disregard foreign judgments. Whatever structure is chosen, the bank account should always be opened in a Swiss bank in Switzerland. I advise my clients to prefer a Swiss bank without physical presence on US territory. In case of US court cases, Swiss banks having physical presence in the US can be served with US court orders and put under pressure. Avoid Swiss banks having a US presence. The high degree of privacy granted by the Swiss Banking Secrecy and the Swiss Data Protection Act is very debtor friendly. There is no beneficial owner or bank account holder register in Switzerland. There is no such register. Swiss bankers are criminally prosecuted with jail sentence up to six months if they disclose the bank account information to, of a client to third parties or foreign governments. Protect your assets from predators by choosing Switzerland as an investor-friendly jurisdiction. Switzerland offers the highest degree of privacy for every hour you dedicate on how to make money, you should dedicate one minute, only one minute, on how to protect your money. If you like this video, show it to us and push the like button now. If you like more information just like this, make sure to not miss the new videos. And subscribe to my YouTube channel now. Click the subscribe button and ring the bell. By doing so, you will never miss a new video. There are young internet marketing professionals offering bank accounts in exotic jurisdictions like Belize, Montenegro, Armenia, Georgia, etc. They criticize Swiss banks for asking many questions and being too complicated with account opening. If a bank will not ask questions regarding the origin of your money, you should not only walk away, you should run away immediately. The absence of regulation means no investor protection and high risk for your assets. I call such banking jurisdictions Wild West banking jurisdictions. Many investors banking in such Wild West banking jurisdictions had problems claiming their money back. Some of them were forced by the bank to make real estate investments in Dubai. The bank refused to send the money back. Others lost their money because the bank disappeared from the surface overnight. Or the owner of the bank was a shake and he has stolen the funds of his clients. That Wild West story happened in the United Arab Emirates. The choice of a secure jurisdiction is very important for protecting your assets. In Switzerland, you have to pass the compliance check. Okay, the compliance check can be time consuming, but we are here to help you. But after you will benefit from peace of mind for the rest of your life, enjoying the above average returns of your portfolio. Watch my video with the title, How a Swiss Bank Account Can Make People Rich. Please be informed that Switzerland is not a common law jurisdiction. The, civil, the Swiss civil code system is not comparable to the English common law system. In enforcement proceedings, Swiss law separates non-monetary claims from monetary claims. Non-monetary claims are subject to the Swiss Code of Civil Procedure, whereas monetary claims are subject to the Swiss Debt Collection and Bankruptcy Act. The recognition and enforcement of foreign judgment in Switzerland are governed by the Swiss Private International Law Act, unless there are international treaties applicable, for example, the Lugano Convention. The Lugano Convention is a multilateral treaty facilitating the recognition and enforcement of judgments 
issued in countries having signed the Lugano Convention. If a US court judgment with monetary claims should be recognized and enforced, the applicable Swiss law would be the Swiss Private International Law Act in combination with the Swiss Debt Collection and Bankruptcy Act. As the US did not sign the Lugano Convention, it will be a nightmare for the creditor to have the US judgment recognized and executed by a Swiss court decision. The creditor has to convince the Swiss court that the myriad of legal conditions, that many legal conditions are fulfilled. Before the creditor starts with the recognition and enforcement, he should secure his monetary claim by freezing the debtor's assets located in the Swiss bank account based on a civil attachment, the pre-judgment attachment. An attachment is a Swiss court order freezing the assets. To obtain the civil attachment in Switzerland, the creditor has to demonstrate three facts. Number one, the existence of a claim against the debtor. Number two, there are grounds for attachment. And number three, that there is a specific Swiss bank account in Switzerland belonging to the debtor. I repeat, a specific bank account. The most difficult fact to demonstrate is fact number three, the existence of a Swiss bank account including the name of the bank the name of the bank, the bank account number, the name of the bank account holder, the name of the beneficial owner. The creditor must jump two hurdles to secure the attachments. The prohibition of searching attachments, the so-called illegal phishing expeditions and the Swiss banking secrecy protecting the privacy of the account holder. Due to severe Swiss privacy laws, there is no Swiss bank account register or beneficial owner register. Here is the reality. The creditor must be in a position to produce specific Swiss bank account information to the judge. Here is the truth. Creditors have no chance to find out the exact bank account number, name of the bank, the offshore company's name holding Swiss bank account. All this information is mandatory to win the case. Swiss law is very debtor friendly. There are very limited public sources that help the searching of assets, such as the commercial register, the Swiss official Gazette of Commerce, the land registry, the ship, the Swiss ship, aircraft and car registries. Here is the bonus tip. If the Swiss bank account is legally owned by an interposed offshore company, a freezing order is nearly impossible to obtain. The creditor has to pierce the wheel of the legal entity and take control over the company. He has to prove that the debtor is the beneficial owner. The beneficial owner appears only on the famous form A. He has to prove that the offshore company is abusive, that the offshore bank account is abusive. That's nearly, that's nearly mission impossible. That's impossible. Due to the complexity of such procedures in Switzerland, most creditors will try to settle the case in the US. Here is the takeaway. Recognition and enforcement of US judgments or other foreign judgments in Switzerland can cost a lot of money. Since the start of the COVID-19 crisis, the amount of new assets with Swiss banks is increasing. The assets are deposited with Swiss banks and managed by external asset management companies and family offices. The more complex those structures, the more hurdles creditors have to face to get their US court cases recognized, recognized and enforced by a Swiss court. Creditors have to consider important factors such as time, legal expenses and the endless efforts before starting a legal adventure. It's a legal adventure. I saw creditors hiring private detectives in the Ukraine to find out the secretive Swiss bank account information. As I told you, this information is necessary and imperative for obtaining the freezing order on the Swiss bank account. The private investigators hacked the emails and the mobile phones of the debtors. However, information illegally obtained can't be used before court. The fruits of the poisonous tree doctrine apply to evidence obtained through illegal means. As a matter of principle, you should be very careful with the treatment of your Swiss bank account information. A hold mail agreement with the Swiss bank and the numbered bank account can increase the level of confidentiality. Therefore, it is only in very rare situations that creditors bring US court cases or other foreign judgments 
to Swiss courts for recognition and enforcement. On the other hand, it's very easy for the investors and debtors to create hurdles by interposing legal entities holding the Swiss bank account. Cracking a Swiss bank account means cracking one of the world's safest vaults. It's close to impossible. Information just like this cannot be found in universities, not in libraries and not on the internet. If you like information just like this, like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel now and ring the bell. By doing so, you will never miss a new video. If you like to have your money protected in a Swiss fortress, if you want peace of mind, if you want a best-in-class wealth manager to grow your money step by step, write an email or pick up the phone and give me a call now. Dial the number below 0041442124404. Let's discuss the best solution for you. Let's discuss how to keep your legally earned money with the safest banks on earth. Be rich and remain rich. Have a wonderful day.